Doug, it's not, it's not a win. It's not the outcome you wanted, but did, are you taking, or you or is the team taking any solace in the fact that this is a completely different game than that first time? Uh, yeah, that's the positive thing we're taking out of it. Um, <coughs> I feel like we didn't we didn't show our best selves the first game, obviously. So um, them coming in here, we just made us try to make as strong a statement as possible. Did you get, again, fun has been the theme the last two weeks. It, it looked like you guys were having fun despite them making a bunch of threes. How would you describe uh, the atmosphere, what it felt like to be in the game against that kind of opponent, and just the vibe of the, of the game tonight? Uh, fun is right. Um, I kept telling everybody in the huddles in the timeouts, like, I don't know about y'all, but I'm having a great time out here. I'm just having fun um, competing against great competition, uh, the best we've played all year. But um, yeah, these past two weeks have been have been great plan uh, on the, the role that we've been on offensively and defensively. Um, you got anything to say? Uh, I mean, obviously, it felt good uh, to make an impact tonight. It still hurts like that we lost, but um, that's definitely going to give us uh, some some confidence going into Friday and then into the tournament. You were up there in Amherst. You saw that game firsthand the first time around. How how different was tonight's game from that first one? Uh, I mean, biggest thing is we were just competing. We kind of let obviously let that first game get away with us. Uh, we were fighting till the end today. They were hitting some tough shots, but. I felt like every time they did, we answered. So I think that was the biggest thing. Uh, Doug, how did you guys keep it together when they hit eight of their first 11 shots from three-point range? Was there any deja vu factor for you guys? And if so, <coughs> how did you guys get past that and, and settle in? Uh, we just stuck to the game plan. We knew that uh, them hitting threes were it's like a pick your poison thing. Uh, we'd rather them hit threes and get to the rim and, and spread the ball around like they do so well. So. Just stick to the game plan and stay confident in what coach, this coach is telling us. Oh yeah, playing against Nick is always is always a fun time. Just because he's one of the strongest guys, and um, just the physicality of it, and the bumping, and and the the, the, the under the mouth talks, and the competition is just always. It's just, it's just fun to play against. I've been playing against him since freshman year, and he's always been the same way. So it's, it's just great competition. You said you were, you guys like birds of feathers. You more similar than different. Yeah. Yeah. You said that you were one of the most underrated bigs in the league right before you walked out. What, what is hearing that from, from uh, guys who are the best team in the league? What do you think of that? Uh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Oh, it was like it was like Christmas. <laughs> I was up till till two, three in the morning, just thinking about just thinking about the game, um, thinking about the atmosphere. Uh, it just took me back to high school in our our big rivalry games against like the top teams in our conference and how packed the games would get and it'd be sold out. But like, um, it's just it's, it was just it was it had me up all night thinking. Well, yeah, um, it, it's a little deflating going out there and playing your heart out just to, just to come out with an, a loss. But to, to have a mindset like that doesn't make you, you know, doesn't make you a winner. You just got to stay, stay positive and come out the next day ready to play again. Connor, the loss tonight means you guys are guaranteed to play on the road on Monday night for the tournament. Does, does that matter to you guys at all? Or, or have you guys kind of taken the approach where every, every game is a one-game season? Yeah, I don't think it matters. I mean, the way we've been playing these last five games, I don't really think anyone wants to see us, whether it's home or away. We've been playing well on the road, so I think we're going to continue that, honestly. <coughs> Connor, what does it mean to have coach have faith in you to put you in like three minutes? Uh, obviously, yeah, that, that was like the first time all year that I really played crunch minutes at the end. Uh, so that felt good that he had confidence in me. But, you know, I got confidence in myself, and I know my teammates do, so I was happy about it. I thought it was going in. 
<laughs> uh, I thought some combo magic was about to happen. It was on, so on bank off the backboard. Like we do half quarters every day and shoot around. Uh, I was I was jumping because I thought it was going in, and then Mark <coughs> sunk as soon as I saw it miss. Yeah, I thought it was in for a second. Uh, it's the only thing on my mind. Um, I told you guys this is my second to last win. I mean, second to last game in the combo, and I wanna, I wanna make it as special as I possibly can, just to treasure these last moments. But um, against Miami on Senior Night, uh, we have to come out with a win. Uh, he he does it to us every day in practice, <laughs> so it wasn't really a big surprise to, to see him go out there and just just play the way he plays. It's nice to see him get comfortable, especially against one of the top teams, and, well, the top team in the conference and uh, one of the top defensive teams in the conference. So um, I've always had confidence in him. I kept telling him just just wait your time; it's gonna come. But uh, to see him out there playing the way I see him every day in practice is it's just a great feeling.